we're just gorgeous girls. Always keep a spoolie in their car. Morning guys. So it is officially the next day. I am gonna make my bed and then do the makeup tutorial that I told you guys I was gonna do. Just like showing you guys all the new makeup that I just got. Then I have to film a quick story set for this company but honestly i'm obsessed with this company i'm actually going to continue my membership like they gave me the first one free because i'm working with them um but i already decided that i'm just going to sign up for like the membership and obviously pay for it i've tried a lot of different wine subscriptions and this one's by far the best one like it's called la wine club and you know when you can just tell it's gonna be a good wine? Like, oh, I wanna show you guys this. Um, so I posted it on my story, but yesterday Blair gave me my Christmas gift. Well, we exchanged Christmas gifts. I showed you guys what I got her. Okay, so this is what she got me. This is the print and it is a photo of my boyfriend and I, like, I took a photo of us, kind of like an aesthetic photo of us like laying in bed um, and she had it made and I think that's like one of the most thoughtful gifts. So I think I'm gonna do like a little gallery wall here with all of my prints. We have a lot to do, but for right now we're just gonna start off with uh, fixing our bed. Now it's time to make a little lemon water. Green juice. So I'm gonna drink all of those today. Do we feel like it's okay or do I need to move? Okay, so, oh my god, my camera's gonna die. Well, I guess this tutorial will be for TikTok because now I have to charge my vlog camera. You know how many rolls of tape I've bought that I've lost? I'm trying to open my little air wand shot and I can't open it. Oh, you're actually so smart. <laughs> I'm trying to open my little shot and I can't. Okay, I'll try that. So I just got ready, finished getting ready. Um, I obviously couldn't film myself doing my makeup because my camera died, which was so annoying, but that's okay. Right now I'm on my way. I am going to see a hypnotherapist. Um, I just wanted to try it for the first time. She was referred to me by one of my friends here in LA and she really helps with like manifestation and you know, positive thinking and just like a positive way of life, which I'm interested in for sure. Um, and I just think the idea of hypnotherapy and like tapping into your subconscious, she obviously can't make you do anything you don't want to do to begin with. Um, but I'm running late per usual, which I'm really annoyed with. Maybe that's one of the things that I'm going to tell her that I really want to change going into the new year is my tardiness because it's not like I do it intentionally. Like I'm not purposely late. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just have really bad time management skills apparently. But anyways, I'm gonna stop vlogging and driving, so bye. Hi guys. Do any of you like have this thing where you can't walk even like around the house without slippers on? Cause I definitely have whatever that is called. So I just finished shooting a little campaign. I shot this sweater with some jewelry. I'm pretty sure that's my last campaign. Actually, no, that's not true. I have one more before the year ends, and then I'm officially donezo for the year. I have a few updates to update you guys on. Um, so I wanted a portable charger, so I went 
to the Apple store and bought the battery pack and it was like a hundred dollars and I swear it doesn't even work well so funny story I ordered Postmates today and my Postmates came I ordered crab because I saw this girl on TikTok eating crab hence I felt the need to order crab I don't know why I'm like that but whatever TikTok is like a dangerous place for me because I feel like I just order every like all the food that I see on there if I want it like I either go out and make it or I buy it ordered that and then at my door showed up shows up Del Taco and it was 14 party pack tacos. Like two burgers, two of these massive drinks. I don't even know what they were, but I've never had Del Taco in my life. And I just, I ended up giving it to um, the concierge downstairs. So anyways, long story short, I reordered. It is here. And I just got a little thing of rice. Oh shit, it just splattered in my eye. But I am, so excited and then I'm having a glass of wine from LA Wine Club. So I actually finished one whole bottle by myself yesterday because I don't know, I was in the mood. I also yesterday found out that I'm gonna be spending Christmas by myself. So that really sucks. Um, I have two brothers and one sister. So the one brother that comes right after me, he already like, he's moved out too, but when I was in Cabo this past week, my entire family, like all of my mom's siblings, all my cousins, all my siblings came to my parents' house and had like this cookie decorating party. And long story short, every single person got COVID for the most part. And they're all the people that I spend every single Christmas with. Life happens, things happen, COVID happens, you know. But we're not gonna let it get us down. I think I should change because I want to eat this in front of you guys. Yeah. You guys, I've never ordered crab before, but oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, so quick confession. I don't really know how to eat crab. I pulled it out and it looks like this. Obviously, that's what crab looks like, but I'm not too sure. I don't know how to eat it. Oh, shoot. Please, no, no! Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I really don't know how I'm gonna eat this. I can't. Oh shit. You're done. You're done. Just flew all over my counter. It's just like I can't. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm gonna break my teeth doing it. I'm gonna need that. I can see the meat. Like, <gasps> mm. Hop. Isn't there like a tool that they give you when you're at the restaurant? Where there's a will, there's a way. Very tasty. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Oh, so right now I just did my skincare routine and I am gonna go to Trader Joe's. I kind of want to go, like, I feel like it's better to go earlier than later. But right now we need to get dressed. Um, I already made my bed. Um, I do want to show you guys some of the skincare that I've been using though. Every morning when I wash my face, I use this. This is the Aesop Parley parsley seed. Um, I've had this for forever and this little bottle lasts literally so long. So I use that. I also have their toner, which I sometimes use. Um, and then I always use my vitamin C serum. This is CEO Glow. Then I've been using the IS Clinical Reparative Moisture Emulsion. And then I also use um, this Tula Glow and Get It. This is like a cooling under eye stick eye balm and then the last thing is just a little bit of glow screen here's my little nighty i always sleep in like a night dress this one i think is from nordstrom okay here is my trader joe's run outfit i just put my hair up i'm wearing a sweatshirt i stole from my boyfriend a zara vest this cute little Celine bag. I believe it's called the Ava bag. 
These sweatpants are I'm pretty sure from Walmart. And then just my New Balance sneakers. Yeah. have coffee at home so I figure that guy just came out of nowhere and walked so close to my car I thought he was gonna try to open the door that would have been a great way to traumatize me hi good morning thank you for choosing Starbucks what can I get you started with today good morning could I just get a grande almond milk latte and then, can I also get the snowman cookie? What is happening to my eyelashes? They were so good and I jinxed it. I was looking at them yesterday because it's been like two weeks and I was like, wow, my lashes are so good. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls. Always keep a spoolie in their car. I'm still debating on whether or not I want to get lashes, like lash extensions again. I've been telling myself like, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop getting it done after this time and just like let my natural lashes heal and you know, that whole thing. Cause they're kind of expensive. Um, I don't know. I just love the way eyelash extensions look. I'm also gonna get my lips redone in the new year. Chelsea does such a good job. Like, do you guys see, like, none of it migrated, which is amazing. So I didn't want them too big. I still want, like, a natural pout. Let's get this Starbucks. I saw this TikTok yesterday that was talking about manifestation and sometimes people think that... Hold on. We'll continue this conversation in a second. Thank, Thank you so you much. The way that manifestation works is not you chasing something. It is something being attracted to you. You're pulling energy, like you're attracting energy, right? So if you're constantly thinking about the things you don't have, you're constantly in being a state of want and you're blocking yourself from manifesting. One of the things that she said, like how to really implement like manifestation is think of like low vibrational thoughts that make you happy. I sent the video to my boyfriend. He actually asked me first and I was like, oh, it's sitting on the couch by myself with a glass of wine. And he was like, oh. And I was like, wait, what was yours? And he's like, every time we talk on FaceTime. And I was like, oh, that didn't even occur to me. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. They're the most delicious cookies. I can't even describe it to you. I'm watching um, a church service. Just for the sake of being safe, I decided to do it just at home. Um, but I'm actually watching the same service that my boyfriend's at right now. Also, um, I never say his name on purpose, just for the sake of keeping my own privacy. So maybe we should come up with like a nickname just between us. I love wrapping presents, you guys. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. But fun fact, when I was in high school, I actually did gift wrapping for like this local boutique. So yeah, we're gonna wrap some presents right now. The trick to wrapping is making sure that you don't have too much paper. So I'll show you guys. A lot of people like overdo it on the paper, but if you get your paper just right, it'll be totally, it'll like literally be perfect. So you wanna make sure the sides should only go up about halfway. Start with like one fold and the trick to getting it really crisp is like kind of rubbing the sides and making sure that there's no room on the side. Fold it over, fold this part on top like that and do the same thing, rub the sides. Obviously, by the time you guys see this, Christmas will be over, but just for future reference. So for the corner, what you wanna do is fold this little flap down like that and get the ends crisp into a triangle. And then what you're gonna do is take this triangle corner, right, and push it in like that. Thank you. 
Then you wanna fold this corner in a little bit. And that is how you wrap. There's something about gift wrapping that really just like soothes me. Then flip the box over. I'm gonna put the twine underneath and then make sure it's even on both sides. Tie it as if you're tying shoestrings. Tie it across. touch to this is I got these little gift tags from Target. Here, finished thing. And look, they look so cute next to each other. So I got my brother a Chrome Hearts dog tag that he's literally going to be obsessed with and I kind of want to make him like search for it in here. So I'm just going to like cover it in this wrapping and make him think he's getting something completely different. If you guys ever see these Korean pears at um, Trader Joe's or literally anywhere, you need to get them. Like, I'm just gonna bite into this so that you guys can hear the crunch. Because I love the way a pear tastes, but I hate how mushy it is, you know what I mean? So I get the crunch of an apple, but the taste of a pear, it's mind blowing. You guys need it. Still watching Gilmore Girls because I'm literally obsessed. I just finished dropping up presents um, because I am gonna drop it off like outside tomorrow at my family's house or at my parents' house. Um, and they're just gonna give me my gifts and I'm gonna open it in the backyard. And yeah. It's Christmas morning. clean I just got out of the shower my head turban um, is from t3 it's my favorite one my robe is from parachute and it's like this really cozy linen that I'm obsessed with I ended up finding holiday in handcuffs which is one of my favorite holiday movies so I'll watch this now and watch home alone later Look at how perfect this little waffle is. I love this little baby dash. It's like $12 at Target and it's amazing. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls make their own waffles. So I just finished getting ready. Just did like a really light makeup. I'm just doing like another really comfy outfit. I'm gonna drop off the gifts at my parents right now and then my dad has like a really good wine collection, so probably gonna steal a bottle or two from him. Good morning, guys. I wanted us to go on a little walk to a smoothie place, grab a smoothie, listen to a podcast. Um, we still need to talk about a nickname to call the boy. Give me some suggestions down below. We'll come up with something. He sent me a podcast to listen to, so I'm gonna take my little notebook and my pen, go to the smoothie place and probably like eat my acai bowl and um, listen to the podcast. A Rufus the Soul sweatshirt that he got for me. It's actually really cool. So I wanted to show you guys um, a little bit of a what I got for Christmas. I just wanted to do like some of my favorite things. Why am I out of breath? I personally really like watching these. The first thing that I got, um, this came from my sister. Okay, she knows how obsessed I am with like home decor, so she got me this Louis Vuitton candle. 
Look how cute it is. That, and then this top can either go in the bottom like a little coaster or as a lid. And this scent is amazing. I put it on my coffee table like with um, all the little books and I think, whoa, my that, like honestly made me sweat a little bit. Oh God. I got green box. Um, this one came from my parents. I just love their bags and their shoes. I feel like they're like really timeless. These are called the Lido. And I forget the color that they're in. They're like an off-white cream. Um, I'm obsessed with these. I have these in green and a brown pair. So I thought that was really cute and super generous. I got a new, um, this is my favorite perfume. This is the Mason Francis Kirk. Kirk Jean Santa brought me this one this year. Um, I got a new slip pillowcase. My mom knows how obsessed I am with my silk pillowcases, so I feel like this color is really cute. My mom, my sister, and I all got matching Skims robes. And it's so funny because I just worked with Skims on their cozy collection, and my mom just happened to get these. Um, she also got us matching skims little slippers which i think are so cute oh these are gonna be my new house slippers mine are like really not cute anymore so i'm gonna throw mine out and use these oh as part of our stocking stuffer my mom got us these beauty blenders so on the other half there was like a red one with another soap and my sister um has that one so i got the little light pink one which is cute and then i got a few Things from Skims, um, just like these little boxers with the matching top, which I love sleeping in sets like this. Another pair of boxers in this gray. These are more of like a biker short with the matching tank top, which is really cute. And then just a Skims black bralette. So yeah, and I think I'm gonna buy myself um, a Christmas gift. I bought myself this diamond ring, which is really cute, like for my pinky. Um, I got that for myself. And I think I'm gonna buy a Ramoa luggage, like the carry-on. Oh, I also, I wanted to show you guys, this isn't from Christmas, but I went to H&M and I wanted to show you some of the things that I got. So I got this black, just plain baseball cap. I think it'll be cute to style with like a bunch of different outfits. And then I got a scarf, this like really cute chocolate brown scarf because scarves are really in right now and I honestly love that trend. So this is just a deep chocolate one, it's super soft. And then I got, this is from the men's section, this like black knit vest. And because it's from men's, it's long enough to be a dress on me. So I'm gonna wear it with this like white, sorry, the sirens. Um, I'm gonna wear it with this like white collared top underneath that's like a long sleeve and then maybe like a pair of high, like ankle socks with my Prada loafers, I think would be a really cute outfit. The last thing that I got is also from the men's section and it's another sweater, just like this taupey cable knit sweater that I'm also gonna wear as a dress. This is where I'm gonna end this video. I hope you guys all had a Merry Christmas. If you had to spend it alone or if you got to spend it with your family, I hope it was, <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, what's wrong with me? I hope it was an amazing time and I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.